Hello and welcome to part two of the Crystal Chamber. I am still Negroth and we are still at the bottom of a pit. As you might have remembered from the previous video, I had been kind of overwhelmed. Not only by these spiders, but also by a, by a new enemy. These little flame throwing mole sons of bitches. They are really annoying. Their flamethrowers do a lot of damage. They usually come at you in vast droves. And they're not easy to combo kill. Their one saving grace, though, and I'll be showing that off in a little bit. There we go. Is if you are able to actually hit their gas tank on the back, it will send them flying and pretty much be an instant kill. As to why that is not a combo kill or a special kill, it's really difficult for me to say, but, you know, fuck them. They're annoying. A morbid vamp shotgun extermination. Those names are spectacular. But yeah, we are actually almost done with this level. Um, getting closer and closer to what I assume is the center of the earth. And uh, obviously at the center of the earth are more flamethrower cobalts, mole men. It's really hard to get a proper look at them as when you get close enough they just end up obscuring your view entirely with the uh, flamethrower. But, you know, they're not too difficult once you get the aiming down. Also, the, the flames really obstruct your, your view when you're trying to aim, but practice makes perfect, or just getting lucky sometimes. And I really do enjoy just watching them careen about and really use the, the physics engine to its better potential. It's kind of a shame that it's there's really no weapons that take full advantage of the physics. But yeah, we uh, we're continuing the to see the more molten and fiery themes the further we get down. The more of these spiders jumping out of the fire. Kind of difficult to say where they fit into the whole hierarchy of uh, enemies, revenge. but uh, maybe they're another mutant creation, as they appear to have some human features. But uh, why spider appendages, it's really hard to say. And this bridge can be very dangerous. Obviously, falling off either side is, uh, is death, and they just kind of charge at you with spiders and more kobolds. Thankfully, though, uh, it's not too much of an overwhelming rush. Just a few more spiders to deal with, and uh, we'll get across this fiery bridge. But yeah, what what is going? What is awaiting us at the end of this crystal chamber? The uh, whoa, what's going on up here? A vampire uh, god? Really, uh, really showing off what you can do when you uh, basically make sure to combine your left and your right hand weapons. Just pumping stakes and holding down the submachine gun fire really does a lot of damage very quickly. What's this? Oh, that crowd expedition. Looks like they made camp here. Yeah, so we haven't seen Germans in a while. And they are easy pickings. Our incredibly accurate uh, machine gun and death claw just rips them apart. As far as I can assume, they were probably abandoned out here. A few of the letters seem to seemed to hint that none of the Germans really wanted to be down here outside of Zimmerman. I wish I could say that the uh, the letters really added to the overall atmosphere, but they're pretty disjointed and honestly sometimes allude to story that just never seemed to have been implemented. But yeah, we are heading close to the sanctuary where hopefully, as uh, our Shadow Ham buddy told us, there is so hopefully someone to help us uh, trans transverse to Mephisto and uh, I guess hell 
depending on, uh, you know, your definition of hell. But it seems very, uh, very disconcerting with the amount of enemies we're getting, but there is actually going to be a very large and very deadly rush coming up. These one or two random Barbies. What kind of church is this? These one or two random Barbies are really not an indication of what we're going to run the into. Century. We are very close, Master. Very near. Soon, you will meet the one who will show you the path. And yeah, this is the rush from hell. Now, the, the Barbies may not seem like much. It's the Gorgons. The Gorgons are what is doing most of the damage here. And it's, they, there's about 15 enemies just beating into me at once, and I, I'm actually almost dead here. It's probably by luck and a few random scattered orbs that I am actually able to survive any of this. Let's go around here, gather up a few more orbs, get my bearings, get harassed by these stupid teleporting organs. Yeah, this is actually one of the uh, better places if you can manage it fairly well to uh, get your combo meter up to max. If uh, you happen to watch the challenge video I put up after this, you will see some of the uh, the higher up uh, fury effects. They're they're pretty impressive, if not completely game breaking, if you can get them high enough. I'm wanting to say from Fury level 17 to 20, it'll start to summon out the uh, the flaming skulls. That uh, is more of the more powerful spell for the the fireball shadow hand. But it will just start spawning flaming skulls every time you do a combo. You can get about four of them out at one time. It's it's well it. It's good damage, but it's also kind of annoying because it will interrupt a fury or the combos you're trying to do because it will kill guys before you can get to them. But it's really hard to argue with something that's uh, helping you kill shit. But yeah, just uh, we finished that initial rush, and here comes another rush, but thankfully we do have a fairly high fury meter set up now, so we'll start to actually see those skulls start to spawn along with the uh, the explosion effect that's already there so we uh, we now have about two or three homing flaming screaming laughing skulls along with Simon's already uh, large repartee of weapons and it's uh, it's a good combo I will say that I but I am more of a fan for the 20 and up fury level, which uh, we do see a bit in the uh, the challenge video. So I, I do say uh, you probably should see that it's pretty it's a pretty fun video this time. But yeah, just uh, picking up a few more items here in this sanctuary of sorts, moving uh, closer and closer, hopefully to whomever is supposed to be helping us. And I say help very loosely. But yeah, something I didn't think about before with these Gorgons is that uh, they can be pretty easily dispatched with the Razor. Which is a lot easier to do than trying to get a headshot. Get the point. And just take care of uh, these last few Barbies before we uh, head into the final chamber. Just checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. And what do we have in this final chamber? A boss. Time is of the essence. Kill these enemies and do not tarry. Why, it's our good friend, the wizard. Uh, I've looked it up a bit online. Uh, the best I could, information I could find was that he is called a mold wizard. So I guess there are mold people living alongside the vampire people. It's really not gone into overall. But yeah, this is a... Uh, it's not a hard boss fight. He'll uh, teleport around fairly quickly. He'll do a uh, flamethrower ability. 
both of which, uh, well, the flamethrower is not really that damaging or hard to dodge. Especially with a large casket in the center of the room, you could get uh, cover behind along plenty of pillars alongside the rooms. He'll also uh, summon out two Barbies to uh, be easily dispatched at your leisure. It's probably a good idea not to leave them alive because I think if, uh, if you keep on allowing them to uh, spawn, you'll probably have about 10 or 12 at one time in this room. And when you're already dealing with the boss, it's, it's really not what you want to be doing. So, uh, instead of just focusing on the enemies alone, you actually do have to take shots at him now, as his shield is gone. And that's, uh, that's actually pretty easily done with the Razor. The Razor does a good amount of damage. I'm also taking a few random pot shots with the state gun, but I actually don't think they're hitting at all. But uh, the Razor's doing a good enough job. And these Barbies are not causing too much of a hassle. They, uh, they're actually kind of a joke, but, you know, you don't I'm sure they couldn't choice. have summoned out vampires or something more reasonable, but One he's dead. One step closer. But closer to what? Yep, and that is the end of Crystal Chamber. Hopefully you enjoyed this level, and this is Nigaroth saying goodbye, and see you next mission.